Hey, I'm Rachel English. I'm here at Gainesville State College here to interview students about 95.5 The Beat, changing to talk radio. Today, just no one really, you didn't hear much about it. You kind of go and had to go interview or investigate for yourself. Um, when it was gone, he just I plugged in my iPod, started listening to that, but you know it's gone, so gotta find something else to listen to. I am so happy that 95.5 The Beat is gone because it was very repetitive. 95.5 The Beat. I, when I was younger, I used to listen to it, but last time I turned to it, I heard something totally different. So I guess it's gone. But I think it's crazy that they would change it up from what it used to be. Although the music came became, became repetitive. It's still something good to listen to, but now it's changed, so I think it, it's a negative effect because, you know, you're not listening to the music that you're normally used to listening to, so I think it sucks. Well, I hate 95 Vibe being gone. Uh, I've always listened to them growing up and stuff, so, I mean, there you go. That's about it. Yeah, I hate it, too. I was I was at Club Opera, like, two Wednesdays ago, and they, they, they announced that it was gone, and... Everybody in the um, audience just booed. They I think it's so stupid upset. because compared to the other hip hop channels, it was the more lively of them all. While like 103, whatever, had like the sex music at nighttime, which was annoying. <laughs> yeah. You know? <laughs> but uh, I'm very, very upset with 95 Vibes and being turning to a total talk show radio. I mean, that's all my dad listened to. You know, it's really, really awful when your father, all your father listens to is 95 Vibes and Beats. But I guess this is a talk show now, you know, it's more informative and 105.7 turned into a hip hop network. So, all in all, I mean, I'm upset, but I still have something to listen to. Well, there you have it, both sides of the story. I'm at Gainesville State College, this is Rachel English, and that is your Word on the Street.